Sports. TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline yeah. News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 14th of October, 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 26 at 43,932. I believe this really is a peak A. I've got the alternate count, but at 44,486 so far, all the technicals are strong enough to suggest, yeah, we could have a couple of days of consolidation, but then we should pop to a higher high. And that's what we're looking at, looking at the S&P right now. Uh, S&P is also just a little bit weak, down 8 at uh, 5977. I'm also calling that. I've got the alternate count, but my preference right now is to call it an A, peak A. And we're just going sideways, di digesting a couple of days of digestion after that spectacular move from the uh, 6th of uh, November. And now what we're looking at is the QQQ. So we're rotating through these different uh, sectors, and, and I'm going to be doing that. Tonight in my uh, webinar for subscribers at 4 o'clock, check the front page of TFNN. Uh, it should be really exciting. We, we, there's a lot to look at, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, 5, 10.56 down $1.69 in, uh, in the QQQ Invesco Trust Series. That's the NDX 100. Also a little bit of a digestive phase. These could fail. I'm not dismissing that at all, but the technicals are strong. It would be so, so unusual. Let's go to the IWM. That is weak right now. It's down 91 cents at 234.29. It's had three big red candles after making a new recovery high. I suspect that this 244.46 all-time high from November of 2021 will be hit in this November. Uh, three years later, huh? <laughs> Let's go to gold. Gold really got smacked. And even now it's down 20 at 25.66. We've been negative gold for a little while now. Um, and thinking that it was in a digestive phase, this is now more than a digestive phase. This is actually a sell mode in the uh, daily. And on Friday, we'll know whether we've got a sell signal in the week. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen that. Let's go to bonds. And bonds right now are, oh, they're actually up 17, uh, 22, 30 seconds at 116, 17, uh, 30 seconds. This is exactly the area where bonds should at least attempt a little bit of a rally so yields can come down. Let's go to crude oil as we go to the break. Uh, crude oil is up 81 cents. I'll be doing my webinar this afternoon. We'll talk about it when I get back from my show, The Tiger Technician's Hour.